Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here. Time for another My Little Pony, French of His Magic, Season 8, Blind Reaction. And today we got Episode 3 of Season 8, titled The Mod Couple. And, uh... <laughs> That is a very encouraging title. That means that we're getting some mod early on in the season, which is excellent. And kind of a tradition at this point. I mean, both the previous two seasons had mod episodes really early on uh, with Rock Solid Friendship and uh, The Gift of the Mod Pie. So uh, that's kind of become a running thing to just get a blast of mod right at the start. And uh, yeah, I couldn't be happier with that. <laughs> so... Uh, Glad to see it continue. And uh, the mod couple, obviously it's a playoff of the odd couple and uh, all that. So, yeah. I wonder who mod is going to be paired with for the episode, uh, since it's a couple. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully more of her and Starlight, though maybe it'd be good if it was her and Trixie. Or uh, her and one of the main six. Her and Rarity. I, I hope it's not her and Pinky. I hope, uh, though it probably is. I mean, they're so different. That would kind of fit the odd couple thing. But uh, that's the one relationship with Mod that has been pretty thoroughly fleshed out at this point that I don't really feel an immediate need for more of it. Uh, though, yeah, I guess we'll see. Whatever the case, we're getting more Mod, and that is a wonderful thing. And the episode is written by Nick Confalone, who is making his triumphant return to the show after not really writing much for Season 7. He did one episode, and uh, I think he didn't work on it for a while. And, uh, yeah, the one that he did write was the Mod episode, so uh, <laughs> he seems to like writing her. And uh, he wrote her well there, so uh, this, is, uh, this is a good, good sign. And uh, hopefully this one's excellent. I, uh, I imagine it will be. Confalone is one of the stronger writers, and uh, he's definitely become one of my favorites. And uh, yeah, he's, as, as I said, done a good job with Mod before. So yeah, expecting good things here. Hopefully it doesn't disappoint. Season 8 is already off to a really strong start, and hopefully that continues. Let's get started and find out. Your homes together for your next oh. Mod <laughs> Starting with some mod stand up, this is going to be excellent. What's I, uh, alicorn with no wings and no horn? Earth pony. Yes. <laughs> but seriously, <laughs> being an earth pony isn't so bad. We've got magic powers too, like mm -hmm. walking around and picking hey, stuff up with our teeth. Yes, very magical. That's sarcasm, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and Pinky's laughter. Oh, Lyra and Bon Bon. Sharing a table. My favorite thing to listen to is plastic rock. The accumulation of course. Of sediments Me too, Ramad. Forming to create sandstone, shale, <laughs> and breccia. It sounds something like this. Mm-hmm. And that's my time. <laughs> Best stand up ever. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Even cheerily. Well, here we go. <laughs> okay. Well, that took me by surprise. What the hell is this? <laughs> this is completely different. Uh, I mean, the song's the same, but this... I, wow. It's uh, almost too much to take in. But we definitely have strong emphasis on the school. Oh. We got Cadence and Shining Armor there. Why not? Even though I don't think they're in Canterlot Castle that often. Crystal Empire and all. So, so far it is looking like more Mod and Pinky. <laughs> You're a great Mod. Well, this is fine. Actually, I'm busy tonight. Aww. Just 
We haven't hung out in a really long time because you always have other plans, even when you promise to build whipped cream pyramids with me. Whipped cream pyramids, huh? I know. Sounds I fun. I'm sorry, Pinky. The reason is I have a. Cody accepted. As long as we get oh. some serious sister well, time I'm before. Oh. Kind of curious. Birthday. And there's uh, definitely no reason I want to hang out before your birthday. Just uh, you know, not planning anything special. Okay. What about tomorrow morning? Okay. <laughs> Just you and me. Best sister friends forever! <laughs> Best sister Cute. friends forever. I can't wait for tomorrow to be today! Tomorrow is today! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that transition. The answer is you! I would also you really should have let her finish her sentence there. This place looking pretty nice. Oh, oh, I get it. We're playing hide and go seek. She would have told you what was up, but of course, they didn't listen. Oh, yaks! <laughs> Went all the way to Yak Yakistan. I wouldn't think she's there. That's a good place to check, though. She was there before. Derpy. Oh, uh, and... <laughs> I love the no equals sign in the back. That's hilarious. <laughs> Also, checking with Starlight is a good idea. Oh. I would have checked Starlight before all those places. Reading. Maybe. Story checks out, or does it? It does. But are you sure there's no Cody hiding in your closet? No. Pinky, I don't have Just Starlight a in the closet. Is everything okay? No. I was supposed to go birthday cake shopping with Maud today. And ruin her surprise party? I wasn't going to tell her why, silly. But now I can't even find Maud. I'm usually way better at hide and seek than this. Well, she probably just found a new rock formation and forgot you two were going to hang out. Tell you what. You take care of the Sounds cake Sounds believable. I'll look for Maud. Really? Thanks, Starlight. Okay. So. Just checking. Wow. Now we're falling pink by. I gotta oh. get very important ingredients for a very important pony's cake, and it's gotta be tippy top, super duper secret. Technically, it's not your turn yet. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, didn't mean to cut in of any pony. I mean, he's right. Um, I like her design. What you doing? Some interesting I'm currently speaking there. to a pony at a baking supply shop two minutes before <laughs> this <closing> guy. <laughs> right. Okay. Just that I'm trying to plan a party here and the clock is ticking while you, uh. Um, what are you doing anyway? I am currently speaking to a. I mean, can wow. I this along? What are you looking for? Rolling pins, cupcake chips, cookie cutters with tails and fins? Goodbye. <laughs> What you've been standing here all this time to say? I was deciding between goodbye and see you later. Uh, but of course. They're the same thing. Technically, <laughs> they're very different. See you later implies an event in the near future wherein we see each other. Who goodbye is this guy? Expresses good wishes where parting or at the end of a conversation. Yeah, same thing. Mm -hmm. I will not apologize for speaking with precision. In that case, apology not accepted. Goodbye, let her see you, same thing. Oh, <laughs> you that guy? Huh? Oh. Go to lunch. Oh, come on! Wow. Ugh. No mod, no cake, no anything. And how annoying was that pony? Who takes that long to say goodbye? Or was it, see you later? Ugh, now he's got me doing it! Oh, and there's mod. Hello, Pinkie Pie. Aww. My turn to hide. <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't around this morning. Oh, psh, what do 
are you apologizing to me for? I'm not upset, you silly willy. The reason is, I met some pony. You wanna hang out right now? I mean, oh. you're not doing anything with anybody else. Unless they're invisible or really small. Pinky, the reason I've been so busy is that I have a boyfriend now. A what? Okay, a this is gonna cause some drama. A boyfriend. A what? A boyfriend. That's so exciting! My sister is... Technically, we're in like. Tell me. Wow. Who is he? What's his favorite color? Does he like ice cream? Is he a bird? You already met him, Pinky. Wait, is he actually a bird? Oh, I don't know because he haven't told me anything yet. You'll like him. We have a lot in common. Well, mm -hmm. I love you, so I know I'm gonna love your boyfriend. Oh, I can't wait. To meet <laughs> this is weird. You don't have to. Oh. He's a rock, and you love rocks, so it's perfect. Well, that would. <gasps> Is Boulder jealous? <laughs> Mudbriar, are you back? There? Wouldn't really surprise me if it was a rock, but not anymore. <gasps> yeah, yeah, it was pretty Meet obvious. Meet Mudbriar. Technically, we've already met. You? Yes. You. Yes. You. Yes. <laughs> you. 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 Yes. 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 I'm sorry. Let's start over. Hi, I'm Mod Sister Pinkie Pie. I know. Mm -hmm. So, how did you two meet? I'm very curious. Oh, you're into of course. Too? No, I like sticks. Then why oh. were you at a rock show? It was a petrified wood show, which technically makes it a stick show. Except that in the permineralization process of petrification, <laughs> all organic material is replaced with silicate, <laughs> i.e. Wow. Rocks. While retaining the original structural elements of wood, QED... It was a stick show. I'm really into sticks too. They're great for hitting pinata. Who doesn't love sticks? Pinky. Uh, oh, oh, you want to go first? That is stick abuse. It is? Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't oh, abuse your sticks. I am not being a very good sister. Let's start over. I'm Pinky Pie. Nice to meet you. Technically, we've already met. <laughs> Of course. This is no. my pet. So no. You should be used to this, Pinky. Aw, look at Twiggy and Boulder playing together. They're adorable. Uh huh. It's just a stick. Don't be rude. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One more time. <laughs> I'm Pinkie Pie. Nice to meet you. Technically. We've already met. <laughs> <laughs> you should just be expecting it at this point, Pinky. And good, more Starlight. Wow, Mod has a boyfriend? It's pretty unexpected. Uh. an inanimate object for a pet. Yeah. Times the personality of some random stick. <laughs> He's not like Maud at all. Maud is hilarious, friendly, caring, and easy to talk to. Yep, that's Maud. But this guy is awkward, quiet, and kind of strange. Uh, that also. Yeah. Like <laughs> You're so funny, Starlight. Maud is Starlight has a better Maud. perspective on this. Then we wouldn't be best sister friends forever. Well, Maud obviously likes something about him. Maybe you just need to spend more time with him. Find out what you have in common. That's easy! Nothing! <laughs> you both care about Maud. I know, he could help you with her party. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> kind of getting echoes Maud of the original Mod Pie episode. The best surprise birthday ever. That I can do. Which is a good thing. Listen, Maud's birthday is tomorrow, and there's no time to waste. 
sides, are you? No. What? Wow. Hey, no reason. No reason at all. Welcome to my party planning cave. Mm -hmm. Technically, Good to see it again. Due to the speleothems growing from the ceiling, this is more of a cavern than a cave. Maud taught me that. Wow. Yeah, okay. Cool. Learning. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking for her surprise party. Edible rock candy plates, gem-shaped ice cube, a pebble pinata. Uh, we'll skip that one. Might I make some suggestions? Oh, suggest away! That's why you're here. You and me, planning together. Friends. I have a vision board of everything Maud loves, and none of those things are on it. Hmm. Let me see this vision board. It's not a physical thing. I'm envisioning yeah. it. I thought this is what you meant. Oh. Through oh. the large door of my mind palace and enter to the pack where <laughs> all of my books and possessions <laughs> meet my encounter, the mod room. None of those things are there. <laughs> Just as I thought, Maud doesn't like surprises. Where does it say that? She never told me that. Hmm. It sounds like she was protecting your feelings. She's very caring oh. that way. Stop acting like you know my sister better than me! Technically, I never said that. Well, technically, I don't care. And since I've been best sister friends forever with Maud my entire life, I think I'm the expert here. Oh, but fine. If you don't believe me, let's ask her. But we have to be super sneaky. Can you be more specific? No! Love the kites. You must be Mudbriar. <laughs> I'm Starlight Glimmer. Nice All of the kites. I've heard great things. I'm so glad the two of you are spending time together. So, how's it going? Mudbriar and I have just spent the best time bonding. And we're really starting to make some headway, becoming besties. Mm -hmm. Except for one teensy-weensy disagreement that maybe you could settle, Maud. See, Mudbriar here seems to think that you don't like surprise parties. Isn't it funny how wrong he is? I like surprise parties. Hmm. Because I know they make you happy when you throw them for me. Ah. See? Wait, what? I'd rather just do something small with you, Starlight, Boulder, and Mudbriar for my birthday. No party? No. Aww. Did she put you up to this? Mm -mm. Maybe you should consider, I don't know, taking things a little less serious with Mudbriar because he's kind of, sort of, impossible to like! Wow. Hey, Mudbriar, have you ever flown a kite? <laughs> Let me tell you all about it. See, the first thing you should do is... I just can't believe you would choose sitting okay. around with well. him over a party with your own... Starlight stepping in to defuse things. Either of you. Technically, or I said I want give them some time to talk it out. <gasps> Technically? Oh, you even like the way he talks? Everything about him makes me happy. Aww. <laughs> then I guess you don't need a best sister friend forever anymore. Pinky. Oh, wait, let's all slow down and talk about this. No! <laughs> See you wow. later. Come on, Pinkie Pie. You uh I don't understand. How could Maud like Mudbriar need to find some perspective here? Nothing makes sense. I'm not shy, and I hate <laughs> Wow. That was fun. Good morning. Oh, wait, bad morning. Oh. <sighs> Get out of bed, sis. <laughs> You're 
Damn. Be here, you gotta work. <laughs> cool, more rock farm ponies. Back to the rock farm. It's good to see them. It's just Maud has a boyfriend. I'm not jealous. Who said anything? Super weird. And somehow we tricked Maud into liking him, and now I'll never get to see her again. I came home because you two know her better than any pony. What am I missing? What did she see in him? What does he have that I don't? Well, they haven't even met the guy, so I don't know. Back up, Pinky Pie. What? You look as miserable as I feel all the time. <laughs> well, that's that kind of true, I guess. Briar, but I can't see anything to like about him. Ugh, fine. We're taking a work break. Come on. Oh. I'm looking at a sparkling bright blue and white rock. See it? You mean that lumpy gray one? No, the beautiful blue and white one, right there. I would not describe that as beautiful blue or white, but <laughs> okay. gonna break it open. Show her. It's a geode. There you the go. The outside looks like a regular rock, but the inside is filled with beautiful gems. So you're saying I should crack open my briar like a rock? Uh, <laughs> not. <laughs> not physically. It's a metaphor, Pinky. You see the briar as a rock. But Maud sees him as a gem. Even if you never see past his dullness, you can see how happy he makes Maud. And to his sister, that's all that matters. Mm. Mm -hmm. Aww. Oh, limestone marble, thank you. I don't know what I'd do without you two. Bye -bye. Okay, okay. Nice. You're crushing me to gravel, Pinky. I really they need to show up more often. Apology. And I owe Maud a party. I just hope I'm not too late. Wow. I brought Aww. you an olive branch to say sorry. <laughs> that was really unfair to you, and I'm ready to listen to your idea. You'll probably appreciate that. If you still want to plan it together. Technically. This isn't even an olive branch. It's wow. a carcass, most likely Castinia folia. Oh, come on! Uh, sorry, keeping it together. And I love a good quirkus. Friends. Yeah, I thought I'd... Friends! <laughs> now, He's not gonna any ideas for the party? be that particular there about which stick you bring one. him. Party. Okay. Oh. This is well, that's weird. Party ever. <laughs> Just it was all your amazing boyfriend. Mod stand-in at the actual party. It would be me throwing you a surprise party. You didn't have to go to. Technically, wow. it wasn't a surprise because she could see the pre-party preparations from up here. Mm. Technically, you're right. He is. Okay. <laughs> well. Interesting. Yeah. Not a bad episode. Hmm. So there we have it. Uh, yeah. Kind of a big and sudden development there, and uh, I'm okay with it, I guess. I mean, I really love Mod. She's one of my favorite characters, so I was a bit, like, unsure at first about her being officially shipped with someone. It's not like with uh, Big Mac last season where uh, I didn't really have 
too much invested there. Uh, even though I do like Big Mike, he's one of the characters I most strongly relate to. But uh, yeah, I, I, his getting with Sugar Bell, that didn't really bug me at all. Uh, this, I was kind of a little hesitant. I didn't know if I wanted it, but I think I'm okay with it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> there was last season some hope for a Starlight mod ship after Rock Solid Friendship, but uh, obviously, uh, yeah, we still have Star Trek, and that's even better. I still like that better. I always liked that better, so I'm just going to go with that, and mod can just be shipped with this guy if that's what we want to do, and uh, that's fine, and uh, yeah, uh, and it was... Uh, <laughs> He's an entertaining character. I mean, he's 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 like Mod in some ways, but clearly different enough. And it's not just sticks versus rocks. He has this really particular, like, uh, really uh, literal-minded. I mean, so is Mod, but kind of in a different way. Mod, uh, I don't know. It's kind of hard to articulate how they're different, but they are definitely very different. Uh, in how they work, how they operate, and uh, it's interesting. Uh, and uh, I just love seeing Mod happy, just that smile and uh, the warmth that enters her voice with this guy. I, I appreciate that, and uh, yeah, it it's good. And uh, <laughs> Pinky, Pinky was being pretty ridiculous, not kind of seeing something that was kind of obvious the mod had a connection here and this guy was in fact more similar to her than not and that her understanding of mod just comes from having known her so for so long she's just kind of blind to things that everyone was seeing especially starlight and uh, then the sisters they didn't even have to meet the guy uh they just knew just immediately what was up and uh that's that's cool <laughs> But it does, it does say that Pinky, even these, even eight seasons in, can be pretty blind to some rather obvious things, uh, and then sometimes she's super perceptive and sees right through everything. I guess just when it's this close to her, when it's Maud and uh, she has that bit of a sisterly protective edge to her, that uh, <laughs> she wants everything to be just right. She doesn't want uh, mod with someone she doesn't like. And uh, that's kind of a weird thing. You don't ever expect Pinkie Pie not to like someone. That's kind of like uh, another thing I'm a bit surprised about. I mean, uh, <laughs> you don't really see her get that fed up with that many people. Uh, she's always been more an understanding one, but uh, I mean, it didn't feel wrong. But, uh, I mean, you got, like, Cranky before, and he was a bit, like, just <laughs> pushing her away. This guy, though, he found a way to get, like, right under her skin, and, uh, it didn't feel wrong, as I said. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of just a strange thing to see Pinky reject someone like this. Uh, I can't remember that ever happening, really. Oh, I guess with the ponies at Starlight's Village, she kind of immediately just quickly snap judgment, this is wrong, and these ponies just aren't right. They bug me. But uh, that's really the closest I can think to her, like, deciding that I just don't care for this pony. Uh, and, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was a funny episode, fun episode. Uh, Always love mod. Though kind of for a mod episode, there was less mod than maybe I would have liked. I mean, we opened with her stand-up, and uh, that was funny, and she was in it here and there throughout, but uh, really there was more Pinky and Mudbriar. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it was good, but uh, kind of would have liked to see more mod. But, uh, especially since, like, yeah, her name is in the title. And mod couple, we got an actual couple. I wouldn't have ever expected that. I just thought it would be a pairing of two different ponies. But, uh, yeah. We're uh, doing big things, like 
big surprising moves already this season, uh, shaking up the status quo. Uh, we're continuing to. I mean, Maude moving to Ponyville, that's already a recent development. So now she's moved to Ponyville and she's actually found someone. And, uh, yeah. But, uh... <laughs> really? Just, like, I... The last pony I ever would have expected to get cannon shipped is Maude. I... I kinda at a loss there. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, why not? <laughs> why not? And, uh, yeah, glad to see the other sisters. Really was pleased with that. Hope they appear more often. Uh, <laughs> Limestone, she's pretty great. Uh, and, and, uh, what else? Uh, and it was Maud's birthday, and it uh, it wasn't uh, Pinky's birthday, so that confirms that it's just uh, it's just Marble and uh, Pinky that were born on the same day, uh, which has been always a kind of question, I think, uh, at least for me, how how exactly that all worked. But uh, yeah, Maud is at least a bit older, and then Limestone I think is the oldest, or I don't know for sure there, but uh, I think I heard that. Uh, I mean, maybe there's more official stuff about that somewhere else, but, uh, in the extended canon, but, <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, whatever the case, uh, yeah, this was a good episode, I was pretty satisfied with it, and, uh, yeah, that about covers it. Hope you liked the reaction, let me know if you did, and see you in the next one.